Hello, everyone. If you have chili today, come along with me, and we make our own chili sauce together. Now let us have a look at our simple ingredients for today. First of all, we start by washing our chilies and uh, red capsicum. After we wash it, we just drain it in our calendars. Then we take the top of the chili off. With the chili, if you like your chili sauce very hot, you keep the seed without putting any capsicum. But if you want mild chili sauce, you can keep the seed and it by adding the red capsicum. With the red capsicum, it's easy. You just chop, cut into four pieces, and then you just take the seed out. Then you cut your capsicum into small pieces because it can cook quicker. Prepare your pot ready by putting the water halfway. And first of all, you have to put your capsicum, chili, and uh, garlic together. And then bring it into boil. However, you make sure that the water is cover up all your uh, veggie. When it started to boil, you just use the fork to toss it around and make it cook evenly. After a little while, you just do some testing by using the fork and put the fork through the garlic and uh, capsicum. If it's, uh, the fork got through it, so that means it's cooked. Then it's time to scoop it out. While it's still hot, you can blend it straight away. Before you blend it, you make sure you put your ingredient in, like salt, brown sugar or white sugar is okay too, and brown vinegar or white vinegar, it doesn't matter. We blend it until it's very smooth. If your machine is not uh, doing the job, you can always use the fine mesh strainer to make it uh, smooth afterward. After that, we pour our chili sauce into the pot and then we start uh, theming it, okay? Um, but in the meantime, we can add the, the juice that is left over from the cooking the chili add into it to make the texture right at the same time you make sure that you keep uh, stirring it until it's thick enough like this there is a texture and the thickening that's what we're looking for in our chili sauce now we leave it until it cool down a little bit now our chili is very cool now it's time for us to put in the bottle before that, we have to prepare our bottle ready to put our chili sauce in. For our bottle, we have to make sure that it's nice and clean and dry to prevent the, uh, the chili to get mold after a while when you put it in the fridge. I find that fennel, that's an easy way to put the chili into the bottle and it's not making any mess. So just... Uh, Make sure that you have fennel in your kitchen. After you put it in the bottle, you make sure that you wipe all the bit in pieces with the tissue or the paper towel. Make sure that it's nice and neat, especially good hygiene, before you lid it and put it in the fridge. When you keep in the fridge, it lasts you for months. And if you like it, it will run out quickly because this is really really good uh, chili sauce recipe and I like it very much I've done it many times already and I love it so much so I hope you all like it as well you should try it to believe it if you like my recipe don't forget to uh, follow my Facebook page and support my YouTube channel 
Here we go, our chili sauce, ready to be put in the fridge. Thank you so much for supporting me and thank you for watching my video. And I'm looking forward to see you again in my next video. Bye for now everyone and thank you.